Ross Edwards, Edwards and Associates. Meet the Edwards brothers. Clark is a world-renowned expert in human behavior, psychology, and motivation. And I'm severely bipolar. Ross here just finished a two-year stint in a minimum security prison. Strictly white collar. They're starting up a new kind of agency. This is an incredible opportunity. What if instead of leaving all the big moments to fate, we manipulate them with 60 years of research into human behavior? Let me get this straight. You're offering me an alternative to fate. Yes. You lost a shareholder revolt last year, right? Well, we could have won that for you. Hell, I don't know if it was a good argument, but I do know that you're short and you're balding. You sound a little effeminate and pointy shoes make you look like an elf. No one important is wearing pointy shoes on the far left side of a room, Ted, ever, ever. Watch this. Mark, no, 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 no. We can assert his power using only his feet. Your brother has a stunning resume. But come on, this is real life. In real life, the guy that you needed to get money from is going to have to call a cleaning crew. They're just two regular guys trying to pull off miracles. Tyler has a heart condition. The doctors have offered a new permanent treatment, but the insurance company won't pay for it. I have a meeting scheduled with the head of the claims department tomorrow. What is he like? I guess I don't fully understand what it is you do. We deploy a psychological strategy. Simply put, we change people's minds without them knowing we did it. Like Jedi mind tricks. Like Jedi mind tricks, exactly. If we can spike his adrenaline level and plant the idea that he's the kind of person who would be willing to help a desperate family in need, then that's exactly how he'll behave. Has that ever been tried? No! Nope. Guys, I think that's him. We can't force him to say one thing or another. It's not mind control. But we can make him believe he's a different, better person. Come on, now! Hey, move! Get off my bed! Hey, what? There's no need. Don't let up. Keep going. I promise he'll snap. Move! Get up! Get up! Get up! Thank you. At this moment, he is completely suggestible. I don't meet a lot of people who are willing to stick their neck out like that. Someone they don't even know just because it's the right thing. And we can hope that leads to a different, better answer. It's him. Yes. Okay. I appreciate it. Love's on fire. My heart is warm. Thank you. Falling, <laughs> falling down. Let's not forget that we actually changed this kid's life. And there's a lot more people like that. But I could see the light it's up you amaze me. Now what do we do? Hug? Uh, there was a study once that said that physical contact after an emotional out 